Hello and welcome to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today's video, we're going to check out some turboprop aircraft. These are airplanes with turbine jet engines. The only difference is with turboprop airplanes, you have a propeller on the outside of the engine bay, whereas in a jet, you have the fan blade on the inside of the engine. For this video, we're going to focus on single engine certified airplanes. Now these aircrafts are not your typical single engine airplanes. They have more payload, they're bigger, and they are much more expensive. The first aircraft we're looking at today is the Piper M600. The Piper M series is one of the best selling business aircrafts in the market today. And the M series have been around for a long time, since the 90s. You may formally know them as the Matrix or the Meridian. Either way, this aircraft, when you see it in person, they generally look the same. And currently, you can find three different new models. You have the M350, the M500, and just recently launched the M600. This aircraft has a max cruise speed of 315 miles per hour. You can travel long distance at over 1,700 miles. And this aircraft has enough payload to carry up to six people. When you see the M600 pull up on the ramp, you can tell this is a different airplane. I've seen one in person and they are gorgeous. The average buyer for this airplane are usually business people, perhaps businesses who use this for charter for private air transport. And when you look in the interior, it feels like you're sitting in a private jet. Very lush and luxurious interior that can fit up to four passengers. Now, how much does the M600 cost? To get this airplane brand new, you're looking at a base price of $3 million. The next aircraft on the list is the Cessna Caravan 208. Now Cessna has been manufacturing this airplane for over 20 years. The great thing about the Caravan is its payload and its capabilities. Again, this is not your typical single engine airplane. When you think of areas where you have regional tropical surroundings, mountains around you, on paved runways, this is where you find the Cessna Caravan do its thing. Now this aircraft is built rugged. And when you think of Cessnas, just think of the Toyotas of the skies. This aircraft will cruise at over 200 miles per hour and you can carry up to 14 people, but you will have to pay for it. The Cessna Caravan used, you can find for maybe 1.3, 1.5 million dollars. But brand new, you're looking at closer to $3 million for this aircraft. Next airplane on the list is the Quest Kodiak. This aircraft is in direct competition with the Caravan. You use it for similar purpose or similar mission, and it costs roughly around the same price as the Caravan, maybe even a little less. You can haul 10 people and travel 200 miles per hour to over a thousand miles. But where the Kodiak stands by itself, it's its takeoff capabilities. This aircraft has one of the best performance when it comes to its takeoff distance. You can literally get off the ground within 20 seconds at less than a thousand feet. That's all you need. You only need about 934 feet to get off the ground with the Kodiak. And that's on a paved or unpaved runway. The Kodiak also boasts to be more economical, burning less than 50 gallons per hour of fuel. And this aircraft is built to carry tons. Useful load on the Kodiak is 3,535 pounds. Now how much does it cost? To get a brand new Quest Kodiak, base price starts around $2.5 million. Not too shabby for what you get for the money. The next airplane on the list is the Sakata TBM 930. Now some of you may already be familiar with this airplane. If you watch one of my favorite YouTubers, Steve-O, he flies a TBM and you can probably get a lot more detail about this airplane by watching his channel. Now the TBM 930 is the latest model of the TBM family and this airplane is nothing to sneeze at. This airplane, like the Piper M series, have been around for a long time. As a matter of fact, these two are probably the two most competitors in this class of aircraft. And the TBM has very similar performance, or even better. You can fly six people in comfort in this airplane at jet-like speed. You're traveling at over 300 miles per hour. 
you get just about everything a modern aircraft should have in this airplane. That said, the price to pay for one of these is no chump change. A brand new base entry TBM 930 will run you north of $4 million. This aircraft is one of the most expensive single engine turboprop out there. Now the number one single engine turboprop aircraft in the market today, the Pilatus PC-12. This is the closest thing to a jet that you can buy and even better capabilities and performance than a jet. The Pilatus PC-12 has been around for decades. When you think of speed, range, capabilities, resale value, all check marks on this airplane. What makes the Pilatus PC-12 stand out is not so much because it looks good, but because this airplane can handle just about anything you throw at it. Has great short takeoff capabilities and short landing capabilities. You can carry up to 12 people and even more in this aircraft. And the Pilatus PC-12 is most famous for the huge utility door in the back. You can literally open up a quarter of the airplane and stack it up. The PC-12 was built with so many pilots in mind. You can use this aircraft for different type of missions. And that's what makes it so great. You can use it for charter, you can use it as a commercial airliner aircraft, you can use it just to carry goods and loads of stuff up and down. You can use it as a private plane. I should also mention that the PC-12 interior was designed by BMW. So this airplane has one of the best looking interiors in its class. And what most pilots and owners love about this aircraft is that it is economical. Now this is one aircraft that will cost you. A brand new PC-12 will run about $5 million. But if you ask anyone in the industry, it is well worth every penny. And the great thing about the PC-12 is that it also holds its value. Well, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. For more aviation and motorcycle videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video.